Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when deploying containerized applications. Our viewer is trying to deploy a Dockerized Kafka setup with Zookeeper on AWS, but they're running into a frustrating issue. Kafka is exiting with an error code, and they suspect it might be due to a lack of name resolution for Zookeeper. They're considering using console for service discovery, but they're having trouble getting the official console Docker image to work. Let's dive into the details of their question and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. To begin, let's address the issue of Kafka exiting with a status of Nigus 1. This often indicates that Kafka cannot connect to Zookeeper. A common solution is to use console for service discovery. First, we need to ensure that our console service is running correctly. Here's a snippet of the docker-compose.yml file that sets up console. Make sure to expose the necessary ports. After running docker compose up console, check if you can access the console UI at localhost 8500. If you can't reach it, verify your network settings and ensure that the ports are correctly mapped. Next, we need to configure Kafka to use Zookeeper through console. This involves setting the Zookeeper connection string in your Kafka configuration to point to the console service. Finally, once you have everything set up locally, you can deploy your configuration to AWS using Terraform. This will allow you to scale your Kafka and Zookeeper nodes as needed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, the official console image can work with Kafka and Zookeeper. Check out the example configuration linked in the description. The configuration uses network mode host for console which improves performance despite mapped ports. For setting up a swarm with console on AWS, refer to the provided documentation link. This resource is straightforward and can help you set up your swarm. Feel free to contribute with issues or pull requests. And that's it, guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.